Caroline and I run Whippersnappers and in case you're wondering Whippersnappers is Irish for cheeky child and um, we're a cross-generational organisation which means that we work with babies right through to elders and we do music, sports and the arts and we've got loads of people that work with us from all different cultures and backgrounds and we've got loads and loads of equipment and props and lots and lots of things to project coordinate and organise and that's why we need your help really because um, we've just grown, we've been going 18 years and we've got bigger and bigger and we've got more and more stuff and um, we need to fit it all into um, this premises here at Bookwell Lider. Hi, I'm Tom, I'm the fixed bird for Whippersnappers and I've worked with Caroline to get the storeroom sorted. So I just came into the store cupboard, which was their main problem. I found that everything was very well organised and lots of different people can find everything in that space through the different systems they've got in place already. What I can see is lots of dead space that can be utilised really well. So I'm going to involve things like pegboards, I'm going to use things um, where we can go underneath the stage as well. So I've made a, a small model here where we've where I feel like this can spread over sort of two, three metres. And this can go all the way into the stage and it can hold everything they need. Um, the pegboard is also great because we can then give them control of their own space to sort out, continue their logging system. Our fixed book day went off to a flying start with a tremendous help from the Zill Orca dance group who helped us build all the different fixes I would planned. We firstly cleared the storage cupboard area, spaces at the back and under the stage to install our pegboard and shelving systems. We also started constructing the plywood trays for under the stage. These would be on wheels that roll under the stage so they can access the drums and props easier. We then started constructing the pegboard and shelving systems behind the stage. This was a vastly underused space for them to store their props and storage boxes. We sanded down the edges of everything to keep it shower friendly. My other observations around whip snappers were that they had many broken handles, drawers, door hangers, the, the stage steps which kept sliding under the stage and the wobbly metal stools which were used for reaching to high shelves all of which I could easily fix or make steadier versions with materials I had. Hi guys, I'm really sorry I can't be with you. Listen, I'm here in uh, central region in Ghana in a place called Winneba. I should be home soon, but I cannot believe the amount of work you guys have done in my absence. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, check the storeroom out. I love it. Little bags hanging from pegs and shelves there for all of our theatre props. Thank you, thank you. And the stage, okay, the stage, my absolute nightmare. Thank you. Look at those beautiful drawers with wheels on to pull out, and nobody's going to have to break their backs anything more. Thank you, thank you. And I love all that space being used up at the back of the stage too. Thank you. You guys are amazing. You know what? You guys have done way more than I could have ever imagine. And I just love your eye for detail, like fixing that metal cabinet and all the little drawers and cubby holes and cupboards in the kitchen. Wow, you know what? It's going to make everybody's life so much easier.